we already done the drawing study this morning. So we also we already know the proportion. So if you haven't uh, go through the drawing study, please uh, take your time to watch the video. Okay, that's only for members. And let me take a look. The chin will be here. The top of the head may be here, right? So I'm gonna take a look at. Okay, this is good. So I'm gonna put that down over here. The first thing I'm gonna do is just use any light color. Actually, this is, would be even better than just use the uh, graphite pencil. Okay, much, much easier. I'm not sure you can see it clearly. So now uh, the whole head, I'm gonna place it about the left side, the right side, that's about here. Okay, that's good. Like that. And on the left side, we're not short. We have to measure compared to the uh, height of the head. So I'm going to roughly drawing it like that. And this is fine. Going up over here. And up over here. It may be too wide. We're going to see. So I'm going to just put the shape like this. And here you go. And the next thing we're going to take a look in the, the middle of the height, which is I don't really know what's the middle of the height. So I'm going to put a little mark over here. I'm going to double check. Uh, maybe the middle of the height is right here. I'm going to check on it. So I'm going to take a look. This is from that line to the bottom and here to the top. Just a little bit higher, okay? Not too much. Just a little bit higher, like that. So this is the top. This is the middle, right? Take a look at that. This, and coming over here. This is right in the middle. So we know that from our study, we know that this is the uh, top of the eyebrow. So how to find it? I already described it in the drawing study, so it's just be patient, just take a look at it. Okay, this is good. So at this point, you don't really need those lines. You can use the water to soften it, right? And it would just act as an eraser. Okay, here you go. This is good. And the next thing we're gonna do, uh, the top of the eyebrow, and also in the middle, to the chin, the middle, that will be here. And we know the middle is just, is the nostril. And it's not in the bottom, not the bottom of the nose, just the nostril, the middle of the nose, even a little bit lower. So this is good. And according to the left and the right, that's very much the same height, right? So we're gonna get those uh, basic uh, proportions correctly. This is good. And then from the top of the eyebrow to the top of their uh, head, uh, the middle, okay, from here to here, the middle is right here. Uh, but the hairline is just a little bit higher than that line, okay? Like that. So we got the proportions right. This is good. And now after we've done this much and everything come, pretty good. Now the middle of the forehead, it actually... To the chin, it actually the that is the width of the 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 head from the uh, from the left side to the inside of the ear. Okay, this is how we find that the proportion. And um, so, okay, now I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. From here to the bottom, okay, that's good, and the left and the right. Oh, very much right already. This is good. Now, I already got it right. This is good. That's the inside of the ear. All right, this is good. Now I can do the little bit more further define the outline of the face. Like that. And coming down all the way over here. So you can do this with the uh, pencil. Okay, if you want to, let's come in a little bit more and like that. So this is good. This is very basic. We have to go through this. 
and also the top of the ear just a little bit lower than the top of the eyebrow right so it's very simple like that and then the ear coming out right here a little bit small like that that's the ear okay this is pretty good and uh, we're gonna start painting and very soon and I right, take a look at the uh, the rest of the uh, portrait like here the chin over here and then the the neck it will coming a little bit off here this is good and as we talk about we might come back to doing member uh, weekly fundamental learning and as I plan for the for our future event and I want to have more of members uh, learning event activities are uh, free to all members and if we can afford it and so if you think you have a good heart that you want to help okay my paintings are ready for sale so think about your friends and family, you maybe start helping me to get rid of all those paintings. I can turn those money into the future event for members. That is what I connect everything together. Okay. So that means I will be able to get more time from the full time teaching. Okay, this is good. And I'm going to give more information about uh, what we just talk about and the left hand side over here and coming down over here the left side let's take a look at the angle from from the left side of the head we already know that already and you can take a look at I'm gonna put it on my screen take a look at how ooh, it's not really that far away just a very small slanted like that that's just the angle right even closer like this so the left side is right over here, the the shoulder. And I think that coming all the way here, like that, and coming in, and then coming down. Right, this is the left side. And we also already know that to the middle of the hair, the middle of the hair to the chin, we also know that relate to the width of the body and from this side which is can be coming even a little bit more and here which is the top of the shoulder over here and I start coming down so all those proportion you need to spend more time to think about it okay here you go uh, so you want to think about it whether or not it's just the boy is is the body moving too much to the left or to the right. So basically this width is should be related to proportionally to the head. It if you think about the whole body should be moved a little bit more to the right hand side. In that case, if you move a little bit in over here, for example, I'm gonna move the little bit in over here. And that means you can move this in a little bit more, like that all the way down over here okay here you go that's good like that and that probably look a little bit better okay and then also you can use on your reference paper okay you also can have relate to this or maybe uh, vertical and try to find out uh, the arm and uh, where is it uh, actually interesting and uh, right from here right from here vertical down actually that is where this line would be and the inside so everything relatable so you just spend the time to relate to it okay so when you have better proportion and the end result would definitely going to be better okay here you go like that all right this is pretty good. We're going to start the painting now. Uh, you may be thinking about, where's the eye, where's the nose? No, 
uh, now we're going to just focusing on the form. How can we get the form correctly? And how do we do that? We did that with charcoal, but can we do it with watercolor? And let's try it. So I'm going to get the red color, right? Take this, get the uh, yellow color, and get a little bit more yellow. Okay, let's go crazy. Okay, here you go. Like that. We're going to only focus on where's the light, where's the dark. And on the E over here, a little bit light, right? Okay, here we go. Inside the E over here, it's already dark. So don't worry about it. Just paint it on. And inside over here is also uh, a little bit dark, except the middle of the face. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna continue, get the yellow, get the red, okay, and even get a little bit blue, okay. So let's get a little bit more brownish color. So I'm gonna coming back over here, take a look at the forehead over here, and even including the eye. So here we go. That over here coming down, can you see that? And the forehead, a little bit light in the middle over here, and like this. And then take a look at the eye. The eye is in the shadow. And down over here, this is the lower eyelid. Okay, that's good. The lower eyelid right over here. And that's good. And take a look at the shadow side over here, the whole shadow side. So it's just lift the, the top of the nose a little bit lighter, like that. And then over here also, and there's the mouth and the lower lip. I'm gonna take a look at that. There's some light color on the lower lip, right? So I'm gonna shrink that down over here. And the upper lip should be also. And like that, this is good. Now, pretty good. And continue. You maybe get scared. I know some people, very easy to get scared. Uh, let it go, uh, relax. And coming down on this side. And here you go. Like this, got the little bit of yellow color. And I'm gonna just put it right outside of the shirt. Okay, that's good, like that. Okay, take a look on this side. Okay, coming in. Oh, I see, maybe not coming out this much. Uh, this is good. Okay, pretty good. Now, since it's still wet over here, we're going to start lifting up uh, the edge, okay? And we're just only focusing on the larger, the larger relationship. So I'm gonna get a little bit red over here. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit darker, coming down. Okay, here you go. Like that, and coming down all the way over here. That's just fine. And coming up like this, a little bit darker color. That's just good. And on this side, I can have a little bit dark color over here too, coming down right there. This is good. Coming like this. Okay. And when the whole paper is still very wet, so it will go in around like that. And then coming down over here, and that would be the outside. I'm gonna just make it. So this is create the biggest relationship. And that is very important, the biggest, not the small, right? Now I'm gonna use the calligraphy brush. I'm gonna wet it. Now I'm gonna just lift up a little color on the edge over here. So here you go. And try to make it a little bit softer edge. Okay, here you go. Like that. And we talk about texture. Okay, this is gonna be a good thing. It's about something we need to have some skin tone texture. And there's a whole thing over here can be look a little bit lighter, like that. And you can see that this, the whole top over here is a sphere shape. Look like a, a, a ball, okay, brown color ball over there. Now I'm gonna come in down over here too. I'm just going to, not using too much water, okay. And just use that a little bit wet, just a little bit. 
Okay, here you go. Okay, it's just a little bit wet. Yes, a little bit. Don't put too much water to it. And it was going to push the uh, the wet paint still on the skin too much away. So you just use a, a very damp brush. Okay, soften that a little bit. So I can actually have this coming up as well. Okay, this is good. And maybe use the flat brush and do, do a little lifting of the texture over here, just the corner of the brush. Okay, you have this brush, don't you? Okay, just the corner, 45 degree to it. Okay, that's good. I can also lift up a little color over here too, make it a little bit lighter. So here you go. Now I'm gonna coming down to here too and start have a little texture. Okay, this is good. And over here I can also and soften that a little bit more. That's just good enough. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna have this also move this, the color getting dry already. This is good, like that. All right, this is good. Now I'm gonna continue going back to it and also gonna make this a little bit softer. You see that there's a little bit too much going in. So I'm gonna soften that the edge, move that out. That will be fine. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna come in to continue develop the edge over here. And uh, looking at what color is it. It's very much like a brown color. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow. Take this color, a little bit more red. A little bit more like a brown color. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in back here and putting the color even darker. Just get the red. And this is gonna be a very interesting process. Okay, that's the blue, yellow, and red. I'm gonna have this down over here. And this is the shadow side. And down over here, there's a little bit darker. That's the bottom of this. And here you go. And coming over. It will be good that you've done a, a good study with drawing media okay that's good now i'm going to confirm this so if you get the form right and there everything else would get much better and easy right okay there here we go now coming down over here and we're going to have a little bit more blue around the mouth okay here you go like this and down over here and as well as the neck Okay, no worry. We uh, if you feel some struggle with drawing and the basic painting, and we're going to we're going to learn together to get over this. Now this is getting a little bit better. Now, and coming on this side, a little bit more red and yellow. Now take a look at this side. See, I'm using the brush like the 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 middle of the brush. And it's just facing up, which is a little bit lighter, right? It's very simple, like that. We have a Chinese brush uh, arc club. So if you want to master use of the brush, you should join the club. They are, they have meetings every week. Like not every week, right? With, the, with another club sharing the uh, Wednesday. Okay, here you go. Like this. That's good. All right, you see, now the the face look a little bit more round. This is good. That's good coming on this side. And some darker color, we're also going to add to it after, okay. That's good. All right. And I'm going to start adding also a little bit blue color to the top of the head. Just a little bit more blue. And this is the hair. And you see that? That's like this. Here we go. This is the area. A little bit more blue. I'll take a look. Here you go. Okay, coming down over here. Come out a little bit more. Like that. 
Now because of it's wet into wet and outside, it looks very soft. Okay, that's pretty good. And getting things in, don't be afraid of it. Okay, now what I want to do, I'm going to get away from the face for a little bit. And then we'll come back to it after that dry. And then I'm going to just have a little bit blue color. Okay, a little bit blue. And I'm going to come in over here. And this outside is almost dry, not dry yet. Okay, I'm going to have this a little bit more gray color. So maybe don't touch the outside so soon. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right. Now I'm going to have this coming down. Just spend a few minutes over here. That's good. Now I'm going to come in here. I have a little bit more blue gray color. And I'm going to actually lift up the color. That's just good. Make it a little bit softer. Don't worry. You don't need to be too clean. Okay, that's be fine. Okay, that's good. Now coming onto this side, also remove some of the white. Okay, that's good. Like that. Now I'm gonna have get a little bit more blue. Now here you go. Now I'm gonna put this shape. Just look for the bigger shape. Okay, no worry too much about it. Okay, there's the shape coming down. I have a little big shape over here too. Like this. This is good. And over here have a little shape over here too. And have a little shape over here. Here you go. Coming a little big shape. Alright. That's good. Okay. I'll take care a little bit more a little bit later. I'm gonna have have a little bit more red just look at the pocket over here. It's just a little bit more. And that needs to be a little bit more clear. Okay, that's good. Just add some color. Just take care of other things. And before we go back to, to do the face. Right? Okay. Now, pretty good. The background is already, already created. It looks just pretty nice. And... Now the the some old area maybe already dry, right? So this is still a little wet. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I think we don't have to make this very dark either. Okay, this this is very close to what we want. And now I'm going to have some color in the ear. So find something else to do. Okay, and then before you going back to the face. Now I'm gonna not going to have my palm onto the painting. So I'm just going to leave a little bit higher. So here you go. Like that. And also see a little bit brown color at the corner over here. And also a little bit brown color on the ear over here too. Like that. There you go. Like this coming down here. I'm looking for the bigger shape. And compare the nose to the ear. I think this is about right here. So I'm going to have that suggested as the bottom of this. That's good. And a little color like that coming up. That's good enough. Now we have some larger shape. Larger area uh, inside the ear have been covered. Okay. That's good. That make it a little bit softer here too. Okay. Okay. That's good. Now we need to get into more. So right now, uh, the area that we can do immediately, it could be the lower lip. So I'm going to just get the red color, right? A very, very little red. So now I'm going to put it in here. And in a few minutes, everything will be dry. And then we will be able to go into uh, continue, deepen the shadow on the face. Okay, that's good. Now it's a little bit more red. Right, and then we're painting uh, the color layer over layer, like that, coming in here. So, coming over here, a little bit darker on the lower lip. That's just good. All right, and the edge over here, this side, a little bit darker. 
And see the color is, is not really that wet. And you don't really need that much color either. So it had to be like a little bit color put it in. That's good enough. Now we can take a look at the upper lip. Okay. Now we're gonna take a look at the upper lip of the mouth. It need to be even a little bit darker. Okay. But we can do it over the time. Okay, I'm gonna have this coming up. And here you go. This coming up. Yeah, like this. That's good. That's good. This up a little bit. And that's the corner of the mouth. Let's take a look. It's all darker. That's good. And the corner of the lower lip would be here. That's good. And how to find it? I suggest you to go through the drawing a little bit more, spend a little bit more time, and take a look at the nostril would be here. If you've done the whole drawing, and it would make you a lot more confidence about the proportion, right? So that's just the nostril, because the nostril is just right on that line. Okay, this is getting there, so it's pretty good. And over here, it's still wet, okay? Don't do anything dramatic yet at this point. So, you see, now is the whole paintings already are uh, covered by the big color. So even though some of the form we still need to define, but we already kind of have the in impression that this the top over here is just a one big uh, like a sphere shape like, or the egg shape. And the lower part also have another sphere shape. But on this side, the shadow, we need to make, make it a little bit more clear, right? So we need to continue to define this, but we're working toward the form, but don't get into the thing that is not really that important at this point, for example. And the little details are inside the eye, the eyelashes, those are not really, really that urgent at this point. We have to develop the form first. It's very important. Now I'm gonna testing it. This is already dry, looks like. And, but it still probably need a few minutes, okay? We're gonna wait for a few minutes before we going into. So now I'm going to spend a little time into the hair. How's that? The hair looks just fine. So let's just use a little bit blue color because we only have three primary colors, uh, yellow, red, and blue. So it's very easy to see that like, uh, the hair definitely has a little bit more blue. If you ask yourself, is more yellow or more red or more blue? But definitely not more yellow, not more red, but a lot more, a lot more blue, right? So I'm gonna put that in here. Oh, that's pretty good. It may be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna have that, add a little water to it. That, here you go, like that. Let's find something to do. Okay, there, here we go, coming on over here and coming down. So you can still see it, the old mark. This is good. Let's see, we need to move a little bit more to the left side. So we just use just the brush. Okay, here we go, move it a little bit more to the left. Sometimes a drop more is, it takes, it gives a lot of uh, suggestions. Just a little bit more. Like, see that? That's as good, right? But you don't make it too much. So I'm gonna have a little bit softer. Like coming down over here on this side, this is good. Now over here, now on this side, you can see that I just add a little bit more blue color. So take a look at the top of the head. That's probably good, but maybe come back a little bit. Not really so big. Over here, this is good. Like that. So I have a little bit color. So I need to have a little dry brush though, because it uh, the brush is clean. It's just going to just use the dry brush. Just move the color in. So we're going to also do a little overlay with the little brown color too. I have a little bit darker color. So this is a little bit dry. Look at the, the texture of the hair. Wow, this is good so far. 
And it's just not much we have done. It's just a little, right? Just a little by little, but you have to walk into the right direction. The right direction. Just a little step at a time. So now I'm going to have this just a little bit darker, like that. That's as good. And seeing this, a little bit shadow, like that. And maybe have a little bit more over here on the top. That's good. All right. The next thing we're going to do, and since this already do, looks already dry, not 100%. I'm going to still wait a little bit. Just wait for a little bit of time. So I'm going to use doing something away from the head just a little bit. I'm going to put a little shape over here. That's good. And now maybe come down to the chin over here to develop a little bit shadow. Like that. Okay, this is good. Now we're coming up over here. Okay, this is good. Coming up. Okay, that's good. All right, now little by little. Okay, now I'm going to have this a little bit lighter color. Now have those, have the color look a little bit soft transition. So here you go, coming down over here. This is bring the soft color down here. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker color. Again, you don't really need that much. Okay, just a little bit more. And when they get a little bit closer, now we're going to have that a little bit more red. Let's get a little bit more red. Now take a look at that. There's a little bit more red. That's good. Like that. That's pretty good. And we're going to take a look at the bottom of the lip. We just let, give it a little bit more time, let the the area on the face drive so we can come back. So this is good. Have a little bit darker. So very important right now, we have to create the form that it curve over and curl over like that. If you don't have that, start painting into the eye, you, you guarantee you are gonna you are going to not you're not gonna do it. <laughs> not you are going to. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the color Still give it a few moment, few more minutes. So I'm gonna do the this arm. Okay, like this. Here you go. Just give a little bit shape like that. That's good enough. Okay, that's coming out. That's good. Okay, maybe a little bit darker on the inside over here. And uh, just remember, give it a little time. Yeah, and now I'm going to use a little bit yellow. I think this is a little bit too, too red. This is good. Now I'm going to just put the color right in here. Okay. Now it would be softly blend. Yes, out from the shadow. Okay, that's good. And just going to have a little bit color here. You got a little bit shape. And here you go, a little big shape, like that, that's good. And a little big shape, like this, pretty good. Okay, now getting something interesting, a uh, little bit over here, and have a little texture, like that, that's fine. Spend a little time, okay, be patient. And that's good. And I'm going to take a look at on the pocket. That's good. At the top of the pocket. Now I'm going to have this a little bit texture. Here you go. A little bit texture. That's good. All right, now getting better. Have a little bit, and take a little bit more blue on the side over here. Okay, here you go, like that. All right, that's the easy part. 
coming over here and have some a line coming up over here and then come down okay that's good and have a little bit softer right there okay here we go that's good and it's getting mm, it's ready let's do the form one more time and before we're gonna working on that big we're going to first remove the color over here this texture a little bit hot so I'm just use the corner of this brush just 45 degree facing to the paper and would we'll make it softer very very good very quickly now here we're going to do now I'm going to have a little bit yellow look at this the red a little bit too much so here we go now this is good all right I'm going to mix the color well let's take a look just a part of the brush when you're working on the bigger relationship okay not the detail you want to use the large brush with in comparison this is the larger brush okay that's good coming over and coming to the side of the nose and coming down over here this I need to be darker so the eye looks like I'm sitting in this area right that's good coming in coming in a little bit that's good leave a little bit leave a little room that's for the inside of the eye okay I'm gonna come in a little bit more okay getting there and also this morning we talk about the proportion between the eyes so watch that spend some time uh, here we go and seeing that just carefully laying a little bit deeper color and if you're feeling kind of like a, oh I have problem I have struggle with the the basic form like how to make a sphere shape the cylinder how to make it better in that case going into our collections in the uh, Patreon you should see an area called drawing for beginners and uh, watercolor for beginners okay spend some time over there so if you're a companion member and you want to get a little bit more specific uh, your learning uh, collections I'm going to gradually using more and more time to create those for the member that need the specific help okay here you go it will take a little time just prepare you're not asking for it today and then you get it tomorrow because I do have lots of work uh, need to do before we get uh, get that are put together okay I need to carefully analyzing your learning step okay here you go that's good I get a little bit brighter on the left side so just get the yellow and the red together that's good now I'm gonna put it right a little bit more red that's good right over here so this a little bit brighter color and also put it right into the hair area too that's good like that be patient okay and here you go right here on the lower eyelid put that color in over here that's good and come into the face here you go now is use this a little bit brighter orange color and you can make the light side it look much better here you go keep looking for what that color would be how to make it good so that's is good that's good right now okay and on this side need to have a little bit more blue on the other side so i'm going to take a little blue color mix it into the brush and i'm going to have this a little bit blue but it's not that white okay so i have a little reflection to that now it's is good enough to change to the calligraphy brush now I'm just going to open the brush make it like a flat brush right I'm gonna have this 
Yeah, so moving it over. Okay, this is good. Have a nice uh, transition. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna take a very light color. Now I'm gonna start walking into the middle tone. That's good. The middle tone right here. I'm gonna use this just softer. That's good. Like this, a little bit softer. Okay, that's good. A little bit more softer. That's good. I'm gonna have this color softer. Spread it. Okay, this is good. I'm also going to open up the brush. Now I'm gonna soften this too. Can you see that? Nice. A little bit softer over here too. And this a little bit softer too. We're gonna have this move those color in over here. Okay, like that. Okay, we're getting pretty good. And I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter here too. So don't make too much water in it. It's just a little bit soft brush. That's good enough. You can lift up a little color, okay? Like that, it looks just pretty good already. Now the middle over here, I'm gonna have this, uh, not much, just a little bit softer in the middle. Just use this brush, a little bit softer, very good control here. That's good, a little bit softer. Now, you're getting better. Now I'm gonna have this same color over here. Now I'm gonna merge that to the mouth. Okay, here you go. Merge that in here. Now I'll take a look at the uh, chin. Here to be a little bit darker. Also down over here, have a little bit darker as well. And actually they have a little bit blue. Do you know why? Because uh, it, the bottom over here facing to the shirt, the shirt a little bit blue color. And over here too, have a little bit blue. Okay, have a little bit blue like that. That's just good. Okay, and coming over here. That's good, get a little bit darker like that. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. Here we go. Maybe at this point, also need to add just a little bit blue, uh, brown color. I'm gonna over here, do it one more round. The outside already drives, so it's okay to touch it. And here you go. Like that, going up. Okay, going up. Very good. Coming up in the middle over here, uh, to the hair. Okay, now I'm going to just clean the brush. Just soften the transition. That's good. It looks more and more realistic. So that's good. Beautiful. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, um, the hair, come back over here. I'm gonna get a little bit blue color and I'm gonna cut it over here, this side, a little bit more shadow, right? Like this, that's good. And I'm also going to start making a little bit texture like that. Just side of the brush like this. Okay, that's good. Okay, and have a little bit. This is still a little wet, so don't do too much. This is good. Now I'm going to have some texture. It looks like they're here, right? And also going to have a little bit darker color, okay? A little bit darker color. Over here. Here you go. Like that. That's pretty good. A little bit dark color right there. And I also have a little bit texture. Just get a little bit light blue color. I'll do a little bit of texture for the hair. Like that. That's good. Alright. That's pretty good already. Hmm. What the next thing we're gonna do? We are very getting very close. Maybe I do a little bit uh, for the nose. I think the nose can be even come down a little bit. We're gonna see. I'm not too sure right now. And but definitely the space between the nose and the mouth a little bit too far, right? So we're gonna walk into that. So I'll take a look at the middle of the nose, the bottom of the nose over here. I need to come down a little bit more. So. 
get a little bit color. But the big form is already there. This is very, very critical and important. So I'm going to have this coming down more here. And also the mid of the nose come down a little bit more right here. And this wrap around the side of the nose it need to be over there. Okay. And now take a look at the upper lip need to come in more on this side. Okay. A little bit darker. Maybe a little bit like this. Okay. That's good. Okay. And the bottom of the nose will be here. Just make it feel like a little bit such a hair coming down, it will help. So that's, that's good. I'm going to have very light color in the middle of the mouth over here. You need to move this a little bit higher. Okay, here you go, like that. And then I'm going to slowly moving that up a little bit and moving that a little bit higher. Not much, just a little bit. That's good. Like that. A little bit. That's good. Now, and we're going to make a little bit darker color. Okay. Just a little bit dark. Got, got the red and the blue. That will be getting very dark. So there's two colors together. A little bit more blue. And here we go. Now the corner of the mouth right here. That's good. Now, giving more suggestions to uplift a little bit. So the bottom of the uh, over here is right there. Let's give a little line. That's is good. Now what I want to do, I'm going to get a little red. So give the impression the mouth actually just lift up a hair, right? Now over here, now I'm going to have this. Here we go. Now the middle of the mouth, right there. And here you go. And have that little bit red in the middle. And also the side right here. Like that. This is good. A little bit softer here. Okay, the mouth getting better. Okay, that's good. I'm going to soften it a little bit. Now we're going to continue to develop a little bit deeper shadow inside the, the corner of the eye. So I'm going to get that a little bit more red over here. So we're going to continue to go into a little bit smaller shape. Okay, so get a little bit blue. That's is good, right? This is the color. And think about is that more red or more yellow? Okay. It's definitely a little bit more blue, so you can make it a little bit darker. Now I'll take a look right in here. Can you see that? Right in here, that's just the shadow. Okay, also in here, that's also the shadow. Can you see that? That's the shadow. If you don't capture the shadow right, and you're going to be in trouble. And the painting won't look as good as you want it to be. Okay, and then the eye over here. Now it's going into the eye. Where's the corner of the eye? It will be right here. Okay, that much. Okay, because you don't want to get it too far from the ear. Now take a look. It's right there. That's just good. And the, uh, the line on the upper eyelid right here. A little bit thicker. Like that. And the corner right here. I think that's getting right, a little bit more. Now focus on one thing at a time. Yep. Now take a look at this corner and also have a little bit darker too. Now gradually we're working into the eye and I'm going to have this. Okay, a little bit darker. Like that. This is good. That's just the area of the eye. Okay, even a little bit lower. Now we take a look at here too. Okay, here. Here we go. That's just the corner, the inside corner of the eye. And coming over here. 
this eye is a little bit wider than the other eye. Okay, that's good. Like that. You see, mm, pretty easy, right? Okay, now I'm gonna have that little bit orange color. Now I'm gonna have this softly connecting to the outside. That's good. And I have this two connecting to the together. There's for the structure of her face, it, he has a little bit deeper, okay? A little deeper in between the two nodes. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna have that. Just use, you see the, the brush, you, you, the way you're doing it, it should be having it, the tip fitting inside and that the middle of the brush is facing the lighter area. Here you go, like that. Okay, up like this, this is good. Okay, now even more turning, that's good. Okay, we're gonna working back to the face again. I need more turning. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit more red, take a little red color, okay. A little bit more red. Take a look at right here. That's coming down. Can you see that? That's very important. The showing the face as a curve this way. Okay. If you ask me that is how can I make the person look more more real or like the person you are painting? The only answer would be if you can see the color, see the value see the shadow, and then you can do everything. Uh, it sounds easy, but it's lots of work to get yourself to be able to see those quicker, faster, okay? Over here, that, a little bit more shadow over here too. Now you see a little bit more and more separation. Now here you go, like that. Now the chin a little bit better. Now I take a look at here, have a little bit more red. So now your on your mind is just only think about the red, yellow, and blue, right? Simple, like that. And and over here too, I have a little bit more red. And at the up over there, I have a little bit more blue, right here. You see that? That's a little bit blue. And simple. Just put a little bit blue in that. So just uh, we have lots of. Uh, lessons in the learning center or in the collections in the um, Patreon. So you just have to spend some time to go through it, start from simple, basic, to gradually moving up. All right, on the outside, I'm going to have a little bit more blue because that is to have a little bit more blue color. Just use the blue like this. And I'm gonna have a little gap over here. See that? Now it become a little bit lighter. Over here, the corner over here, like that coming out. Okay, that's good. And the outside over here, also have a little bit blue. Like that, and it's coming down. Now the wet into wet, they are merged together. Let's put it nice. Okay, and getting there, getting there, and I want to take a look at this ear, have a little bit, showing little ear, right over there. It's just going to have just a little, like that, that's good enough. And it will make you feel like it's the ear, okay, okay, that's, that's good. Now I'm going to give a little attention to this side, to this ear as well. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit darker maybe, okay. That's important that you paint the bigger shape and smaller shape okay that's what we did earlier right okay and this side over here I'm gonna have that that's good uh, the bottom over here make it even a little bit darker I think the ears are okay fine and now the face is looks pretty good already and and then also the space between the mouth and the nose and we think about whether or not the nose moving down or the mouth moving up, right? 
You want to think about this triangle. We always talk about the triangle all the time. And I think the nose is pretty good in the shape. But I think that the mouth just need to be moving up a little bit, which is easy, right? So you maybe think about, yeah, right. Easy, huh? Can be easy. Just moving a hair higher. Not really much. Ready? Now I'm going to move this a little bit higher. Okay. If you move the nose down, it make him look older. So that's. It may be down a hair, but should not be down much. Okay. Here you go. Moving up a hair. Yeah, actually a hair. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Like that. Okay. And we're going to have a little bit blue because it's not really that much red. So a little bit more blue like this. Here you go. Make it a little bit softer. Mix it into the color right here. And the corner over here, we're going to move it up a little bit as well. Okay, here you go. Get a little bit darker on the edge over here. Okay, here we go. Like this. Here we go. That's just good. And uh, a little bit darker at the corner. And here you go. Right here. A little bit darker. And this, the bottom over here, can move up a little bit. And I'm going to have a little red to make this curve a little bit more right here. That's it. Like that. Even a little bit darker. Okay, that's good. And like that. Here you go. That's good. That's just the upper mouth. Now I feel it. The, the mouth is moving up already. Now I'm going to make this a little bit softer. And then also we're going to make the a little bit more red over here as well. This is good. I'm going to have just a little red color. Put it right here. That's good. And also the up over here, we can make it a little bit more red. Okay, that's good. Looks nice. And keep the mouth open. That's good. Like that. And the edge over here, I'm going to move in a little bit with a little brown color. Is that right? Now, all the smaller shape is based on the larger shape that you develop. So it's important when in when you do that in the early stage, you're focusing on the larger shape. If you get the larger shape right, the smaller shape, it will be related to the big area. It will be much easier. The corner right over here. Like that. This is good. That's good. And inside the mouth it has some tea, but you don't have to make it really clear. Okay, that's kind of softer a little bit over here. This is good. Now I'm going to make the nostril a little bit lower. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get a little bit more blue. Mix it with this. This is good. Now I'm going to make the nostril a little bit lower and a little bit bigger. Okay, this is good. And as well on this side. Okay, that's good. Like that. Getting that, and I'm going to have the little brown color. So get the little bit yellow, mix into this. Okay, that's just good. It's a little bit orange color, like that. Okay, this is translucent watercolor. So whatever color you have and put it in that area, it will look darker than the color that you already have there. Okay, over here, it's just a little bit lower. You can have a little bit shadow. That's good. And on this side, it's just a little bit lower, not much. Okay, that's good. Wrap around over here. See? Now the nose looks much better, right? Oh, okay. Now I'm going to have a little bit orange color. Get the yellow. Okay, this is good. Have some red color over here already. And take a little bit. This is color really bright. So I don't want to have too much so I'm going to just use a little bit more water now I'm going to have the side of the nose over here 
I'm going to have this a little bit more brighter. Here you go, like that. And in over here, a little bit more shape, like that. And then going out. Okay, that looks just pretty good. Now I'm going to have this a little bit softer. Okay, and I'm also going to have this a little bit lighter. Just loosen the color a little bit. That's good enough. Okay, that's good. Okay, very nice. Now we're going to go into working to the eye. Okay, how are we going to do that? And the eye. All right, we're going to do one side at a time. Little corner over here. Now we're going to have this little line seeing the inside. When they see that, whether or not is the eye need to be spaced out a little bit more. Okay, I think this could be the inside of the eye because we want it to be spaced out even more. And take a look. There's the inside. And take a look on this side. I'm going to have even darker, have a little bit more red. Okay, this is good. Take a look at over here. That's line. Inside, here you go, like this. That's good. That's wonderful. And the corner over here, that's totally fine. And now I'm going to see the outside. I'm going to get a little bit yellow. And with this, a little bit more outside. So I'm going to just get this almost like an orange color, right? And the brown color is the same family as the orange color. So maybe a little bit red. Okay, here you go. Like that. Uh, we would clean it up after. Now take a look at how to make this eye a little bit bigger. So you just put another line outside. And here you go. Like that. You can see that. That's coming in over here. And coming in over here. This is good. And also over here, have the color coming softer on the outside. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker color. So add a little bit darker color. Yeah, take a look at the eye line. Yes, take a look. And this eye coming over here. That's good. And the top over here, there's a little bit darker as well. And here you go, a little bit darker. And here we go, a little bit darker. Like that. It's getting there. Okay, now this is good. I'm going to have a little bit more blue. I'm going to work into the iris. All right. Take a look and, and have this little bit gap on the side. Okay, here we go. That's a round shape, right? This is good. And I'm going to come in. Leave the center over here, have a little bit highlight. Okay. Like that, have a little gap. Because you cannot actually connect with the eye line. It actually have some cast shadow, right? When I have a little bit more blue inside the eye. Okay, this is good. Make it even neutral, dark. Okay, here we go. Okay, pay attention to that. That's good. Okay, wonderful. And make the same color. And we can modify the color when we have time. Okay. That's good. We have the iris. Okay, inside over here can come up a little bit. A little bit more round. That's as good. And here in the upper eyelid, we're going to make it a little bit more curve coming up. Let's move on to the other eye. Okay, let's take a look. And here, this side, put it on. And take a look at inside over here, this corner, like that. That's good, take a look. And whether or not it's the same size iris. Okay, this definitely a little bit small. Now I'm gonna have this coming 
oops, a little bit just right here. Going a little bit. And I think this is good. I think the top over here can go up a little bit. Okay, now it's good. Now the other line on the outside, just put it on. Put it good like that. Now the eye look bigger already. And I'm gonna have this and a little bit darker. Take a look over here. That's a little bit darker right there. And here you go, like that. Now I'm gonna take a look at inside the iris, okay? Use very much the same color. Okay, now take a look. This is the highlight. I leave the little highlight shape. And painting in. Okay, now the eye looks is pretty good. Now over here, on, in, the, in, the, in the middle over here, now I'm gonna have a little bit light brown orange color. And look at that right here. That's good. Now a little bit softer going out. And now I'm gonna take a look at and look at, take a look at the lower eyelid like this. Okay, that's good. And then the space of the eye is I think it's just pretty close, pretty good. And I'm gonna have a little bit more orange color. And also gonna push this in a little bit more. A little bit and here you go push that out over here this shape a little bit more flat like that and this is good and the next thing we're also going to look a little bit more I think the color over here is pretty good but maybe a little bit more red have it turn a little bit more okay a little bit more red color a little bit more okay here you go and turn a little bit more, like that. Perfect. Coming down here, like that. Okay, this is good. Now make this turn even more. Now just use the clean brush to spread the color around. But make sure this also is still a little bit light. So I'm gonna move the color away. Okay, this is pretty good. The form is good. And now I'm gonna have a little bit orange color and the red, okay? Red and orange, make it a little, little bit more yellow. That's good, and top over here. I'm gonna have this a little bit with another round like this. That's good. I'm gonna have this also a little bit like that. That's good. Now make it a little bit smoother. Now also using the same color Maybe a little bit red, just a tap of red, that's good. Over here too, I'm gonna have that. Mixing, make sure the middle of the brush, the lighter part of the brush facing the inside. Okay, this is pretty good. Okay, and looks pretty good. And take a look at the cheek and the cheek area like that and a little bit more red, so the blue bit brighter. So this area definitely is no blue color, so a little bit brighter. Now I'm gonna have this coming down, and coming down over here, that's just good. Now I'm gonna have this color, just the water, have the color, spread it a little bit more. Okay, this may be too clear. That's a little bit coming down a little bit more, like this. And it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna have a little red, just a little bit tiny, tiny red. Okay, take a look at right here, a little bit brighter color. And usually yellow and red would make the color look brighter. It's just put the red color in. It will look much better on the face. That's good. Now, now slowly, little by little, you can get it. Now I'm gonna look in, looking back into the lip. Now I'm gonna see a little big shape in the middle over here. You can see the shape right here. Can you see it? Now it make it like very detailed. That's good, like that. And looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna soften that a little bit more. 
Okay, a little bit more. That's good. A little bit softer. So, very nice. Now I'm gonna walk into the eyebrows. Now let's get a little bit blue color, a little bit gray color. Now I'm walking into here. Not very dark. No. Okay, here. Here we go. And a few here. Like that. Like this. And I have a few here coming up like that. That's the eyebrow. Right? And the all brow on this side. And here we go. Have a little bit more. Oh, just a little bit tucker shape. You don't have to make too much. Okay. Now I come back to their hair. Now I'm going to make a little bit more texture. I'm going to just take this gray color. Just coming over here. Like that. Okay. Have a little bit texture. Right on the top. Okay. Make it feel like there's the curly hair. So a little bit more. Like that. Coming back here. A little bit more. That's easy. Okay. Make it feel. That's good. Over here. It can be a little bit darker. Like that. And this is good. Now I'm going to come down to the neck. This side also a little bit blue. So it's just not white. So I'm going to have a little bit blue color on this side. This is the reflection. Okay. This is good. Like that. Okay. And I think the bottom over here already good enough, but I can actually overlay a little bit brown color over here so that the reflection area not really so light. So like this, coming over. Here you go. Also make the neck also look a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. And here we go. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. Yeah, coming up a little bit. So you, you can see the whole process. And start from only try to leave the light area. And we can actually put in the color all over the place in the entire paper. That have no fear, right? So you have to start from the biggest possible. Okay, and here there's a little bit more. A little bit more coming in a little bit like this. All right, now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. And don't forget down over here. Also have a little bit darker color right here. Here you go, a little bit dark color right here. You can see, you can see a little bit color coming out. That's okay. Okay, this is good. And I'm gonna have a little bit reflection. Also the bottom, the shadow over here. Right here, can I have that down? That's the inside the shirt, like that. Okay, here you go. A little bit darker color right there. Okay, this is good. And um, let's take a look at on this side. I think we're gonna have a little bit more blue. Okay, a little bit more blue in here. And also a little bit blue color in here too. Okay, that's all right. I'm gonna make this a little bit softer, but don't overdo things because it's gonna make it look too much, either too much texture, a little bit too, uh, taking too much attention. And the top over there, have a little bit more red color. And the top over here as well, a little bit more. Like that. And coming here. That's good. And coming out a little bit. Alright. That's good. Now soften this a little bit. Perfect. Now take a look at the top. Looks like a little bit too flat. What I'm going to do. I'm going to make it a little bit more rounded. So what I'm going to do is just use this brush. Okay. Just softly. Loosen the color a little bit. At the top, also the top has some light coming from. So make it a little bit softer. And also make the head, I think the head need to come up a little bit more. 
Okay, like that. Now I'm gonna come back here. Yeah, I know when you're staying with me this long, I know you're a very patient person. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna come a little bit more, just a hair or a drop, right? Just a drop higher. That's good. Nice, mold a little bit more around it at the top. That's good. Like that. Okay. That's good.